Robertson. For some, a small, quaint village nestled in the southern highlands. For others, the home of this man, Ian Hindmarsh. Stylish, tough, ruggedly handsome. What a player. But it's his brother, Nathan, who has brought us here to the arse end of nowhere. So, Nathan Robertson, what does it mean to you? Everything, Tim. It's my home, my heart. It's my first love. You know, you just trot in cow shit. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. It's fair to say the Hindmarsh impact upon this small town is immeasurable. The family's roots in Robbo date back to the late 1860s, when Nathaniel Hindmarsh started a small but profitable potato farm, quickly becoming the town's undisputed spud king. Unfortunately, Nathaniel's good fortune didn't last long. His farm wiped off the face of the earth by a freak storm. Nathaniel's grandson, Nate, saw his own empire of delicious Robbo spuddies destroyed by yet another ferocious storm, resulting in Robertson's unofficial motto. If a Hindmarsh builds it, the storm will f*** it. Is the family name cursed? No, oh, mate, no, I don't believe in all that superstitious stuff. Every one of those storms were predicted. Storms? No storm. No storms, it's plural. There was more than one storm, so you say every one of those storms was predicted. <laughs> you can't have more than one storm. It's... <laughs> storms, you're... You're good, Shero. I like your humour, I do. But despite the family's past, there was a change in the wind when, in the year 2000, a Hindmarsh named Nathan started to taste actual success. A green and gold jumper and, I mean, a World Cup win. Yeah. No, it was a pretty good year, Shero. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I mean, pretty good. I mean, compared to 1998, I mean, the dogs came from nowhere to, to beat you. I mean, Daryl Halligan, what a kick. Wow. Mate, I remember that. Yeah, thanks. In 99, the Storm did the same thing. Yeah, well aware of that one as well. Yeah, in 2001, I mean, you lost, and then after game one of Origin, you were dumped. Are you finished? Are you good? 2005, you're monumentally <laughs> up. I mean, come on, the Cowboys, 29 to zip? It wasn't our year that year. 2012, wooden spoon. Yes, thank you. Ta. I'd say, I'm only saying, you look at 2000, it wasn't a bad year. Jesus. Hey, Jero, 2002 was a cracker too. Go the Chooks. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. Yeah, Carl, I want the 300. I need it tonight. Carlos, Carlos, don't hang up on me. Don't, she can. Carlos, don't hang up on me, you <laughs> Listen, can we just get back to why we're here, please? Yeah, OK, let's get on with it. Sure, sure. If there's one thing Robertson is famous for, it's the annual Robbo Show. And the jewel in the crown of the weekend-long event is the legendary potato race. So what does the race actually involve? Graduate, Shero, it's a 400-metre sprint carrying a 50-kilogram bag of spuds, mate. This is not the first time Nathan has raced in this most revered of events. In 2003, as a young buck playing for his beloved Parramatta Reels, Nathan Hindmarsh came back to Robertson to show the locals just how amazing he was with his head fair up his ass. Take us back to 2003. By how far were you leading that day? Probably probably 50 metres. What happened in the last 100 metres of that race? <laughs> fell over. He fell over. Yeah. And what happened next? Everyone ran past me. And you came last? Yep. And everyone started laughing at you? <laughs> You still wake up at night sometimes, don't you, to hear the laughing of the crowd? Sometimes. <laughs> you think that if you can win that Robertson potato race, you won't ever have to wake up in the dark again to the awful laughing of the crowd. Yes. yes. Hey, mate, uh, just for my notes, uh, wasn't it your brother won it the year after you fell on your fat face? <laughs> yes. It was 2004. Yep. The one that just keeps on giving. Oh, I'm such a loser. <laughs> of course, like a predictable plot of a tired rugby league comedy segment, Nathan's partner in crime, Brian Fletcher, is helping his old friend in his quest for glory. So, Brian, where do you fit into all of this? Pretty simple, Shero. I'm here to help Nathan finally achieve the glory he thoroughly deserves in his beautiful hometown of Robertson. You really are a good friend, don't you? Well, Nathan's my BFF. Oh, your best friend forever. No, 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 my big fat f**k. 
Do you think that's asbestos? Because I can report it. In preparation for the big race, Nathan Hindmarsh has once again laced up the boots and has taken on a vigorous, uncompromising training regime. You've got this. Keep going. Let's go. One more. One more. It's all on the hips, Nathan. Take those spuds from out of your pants, too. You've got this. Keep going. Lift your legs. The day had finally arrived for Nathan, a day to right the wrongs of the past. Welcome to Robertson, New South Wales. And today's big event is the Australian Championship Potato Race. It's a grueling 400 meter sprint carrying a 50 kilo sack of spuds. All eyes are on homegrown hero Nathan Hindmarsh, competing in his second ever spud race. Let's hope he doesn't fall on that face like last time. I mean, the, the livestock judges at this show, they might put it that you've put on a bit of condition. Well, naturally heavy boned, mate, so. Ah, what does success look like today in this race? I'd just be happy to f***ing finish the race, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we leave you for a moment to reflect and, and visualise? Smell that. I think it's horse shit. Doesn't smell like victory? No, that smells like... I think there was horse shit in there. Oh, right. I am so confident that Nathan is going to rectify what happened 20 years ago today. Is this based on his preparation, his diet, nutrition? It's all about the C's, the three C's. Carrots, quinoa and kale. Play a Dagwood dog, please. Yeah. So he's a moral. It's a given. Absolutely. Yeah, rock solid. Nathan Hindmarsh yep. will win the spud race. Yeah, you'd put your house on that. I'd put everyone's house. Yeah. Not mine, but I'd put a lot of people's houses. Yeah. Not mine. OK. With only moments to go before the race, Brian and Nathan had one final walkthrough. All right, mate, when you hit this corner, this is when I want you just to ignite. So I mean, you've done the training. You're about 50 out. 50 out. What, what are they? What the f are they? They're loser shorts. What have I told you about my superstition? Don't, don't. Just cover them up. Cover it up. Unfortunately for Nathan, this wouldn't be the only stain on the day. All right, there's 10 grand. I want it all on number two. But how much is five? Exactly. I'm not going to back that fat f Four to one, 10 grand. That's 40 grand. Don't say anything either. And don't tell my missus. OK, all those who are competing in the open potato race, carrying 50 kilos around the track, come on out. But finally, it was time. Nathan's time. The one, the only, Nathan the fat bastard Hindmaster. Come on, here he comes. Nice to see you back. Yeah, it's great to be here. Load up, load up, load up, load up. Last man up. Hold it again, line. You got this, mate. You've got this. Nathan, concentrate. Here it is. Go! Go on, son. Go on, son. Where is he? I can't see him. I think he's running, he's running with cover in the middle of the pack, yeah. I think, yeah. Oh, someone's down. Mate, he's just riding nicely. Hey, go good. Yep. Yeah. 
Come on, you gotta finish. Yeah. 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 Come on. Well done. It's all right. It's all right. Wasn't to be. No, that's not yours, mate. That's not yours. I thought we all got a ribbon. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Whoa. Whoa. That yeah, well done. That was no. What do you mean? That was shit. Man, I'm telling you, you did unbelievably. So, I'm so, so proud. So so proud. There's the extra 10, mate. That makes 40. We're, we're sweet. What's that all about? Oh, no, nothing, Are you mate. betting again? Be honest, are you betting again? I did, yeah. Did you back against me? Is that what you're saying? You backed against me? I did. Did we win? Yeah, I won 40 grand. <laughs> yes!